What can we expect in the cybersecurity world in 2023? Businesses should be prepared to deal with an environment that is always changing and where risk is inherent since the landscape is seeing an acceleration of both well-known and new trends. No fish is too little for an attacker to try to hook in the current cyber environment. As a result, businesses have more reason than ever to be proactive around security, as these key trends target an expanding attack surface and increased risks. Credential phishing remains hackers' go-to. Cybercriminals continue trying to hack user credentials to get access to networks. In the past, they have utilized email, but social engineering is becoming more and more common. A credential phishing link was present in almost 70% of email attacks during the first half of 2022. Social engineering and credential phishing go hand in hand. Both direct and indirect methods are used. Hackers are increasingly using lateral attacks when they target one individual to access another. If a cyber criminal can gain access to one user, they can mimic them to deceive other users inside the company or use them as a stepping stone to another connected company like a partner or supplier. These techniques aren't going away either. Rather, they're getting more advanced. Multi-factor authentication is a defense for businesses. Because of the privileges these accounts have, making this mandatory for an admin account should be the basic standard. But it has proven challenging to convince other users to embrace this because it is a bad user experience and additional step. So a new technique is employing passwordless authentication, where a code is transmitted to the device to accomplish authentication without needing a password, in place of burdening consumers with additional processes and passwords to remember. This strategy improves convenience and security, which are typically at odds. However, it's not only email where phishing keeps dropping its bait. Attacks are now omnichannel. Omnichannel cyber attacks increase risks. Phishing has evolved into an omnichannel practice that mimics and takes advantage of the communication tools used by businesses. Hackers utilize chat, direct messages on social media, phone calls, text messages, and other means to carry out these attacks. A targeted user could first get contact through one channel, followed by a barrage of messages through other channels. These are efforts to deceive the user and provide the impression of greater authenticity. Increased attack channels necessitate a wider email security blanket that protects all routes. Because the communications don't contain explicit threats, like malicious links or attachments, until the last phase of the operation, defending against social engineering is particularly difficult. Cyber insurance coverage requirements grow. The emerging threat scenario is causing changes in cyber insurance. The cost and difficulty of obtaining or maintaining coverage has increased. Businesses are increasingly being required to show that they have the proper degree of protection as a condition of coverage. Companies may struggle to achieve this criteria since there is no industry standard for what this is. An organization must strengthen its technical foundation for security, make sure robust authentication is in place, and give certifications when those are available to demonstrate that it does not pose uninsurable risks. If the company outsources its IT, it will want strong security from the contractor. Search for certifications like ISO 27001, SOC 1, 2, and 3, as well as industry-specific compliance like HIPAA support for healthcare covered organizations in a cloud partner. An organization may have greater coverage alternatives if it can prove these claims. AI's role in threat protection matures. A lot of business procedures can now be improved because of AI. It is more adept to responding to the continuously shifting threat landscape because of its continuous learning methodology, which is particularly pertinent to evolving security threats. As a consequence, it offers an ever-improving protection over time, recognizing and guarding against developing threats. This technique is crucial for identifying assaults that go outside the purview of known dangers. Conventional phishing assaults use a specific danger but are wide in nature. Attacks may be processed and stopped promptly with email filtering that looks for that threat. It won't stop particular tailored phishing attacks directed at certain businesses or employees within that business. By easily obtaining employees' names from social media sites like LinkedIn and sending socially engineered emails without obvious links or attachments, hackers may get over email filters. Next, after identifying additional workers, they start using email and other means to spread phishing. As it is not a mass attack, email screening is less likely to pick it up. 
In this situation, AI can be helpful since it creates a picture of what is typical for a certain organization to better identify unexpected interactions. Again, this circumstance shows how appealing every user and business is to hackers who rely on small and medium-sized businesses having lax or security measures. Using AI as a safety net should be on the priority list for small businesses. It's now less expensive and more accessible, so the barrier to obtaining it is much lower. Zero Trust Architecture – Eliminating Implicit Trust Traditional security approaches that rely on the antiquated notion that everything in a network is trustworthy are modernized by Zero Trust Architecture. Under this system, a user may access anything and exfiltrate anything as soon as it enters a network. Zero Trust eliminates implicit trust and uses constant verification. A network's Zero Trust architecture must have visibility and control over the users and traffic within it. Determining what is encrypted, monitoring and validating traffic, and utilizing MFA are all part of this scope. Organizations analyze everything, standardize all security precautions, and establish a baseline when using Zero Trust security. The use of this strategy will rise as more businesses undergo their own digital transitions. Cybersecurity must be flexible to meet threats. All these trends are interconnected and demonstrate that modern cyber defense must be flexible and adjustable to meet new and evolving threats, as well as old threats. Small and medium-sized businesses need security-centric partners for cloud hosting and applications to sustain their boundaries and reduce risk in the year ahead and beyond.